the only technical issues today. On the district's first day of school, a spokesperson said some students had login and connection issues with the learning platform it's using. The platform is called Schools PLP. Overall, the spokesperson said the first day was a success. We want to turn our attention to school districts in the Sand Mountain region. Tonight, there are more than 6,400 cases in the region. More than 300 were added within the past week. In less than 24 hours, students in the Arab City School District will head to the classroom. The district is offering virtual and blended learning options for students this school year. Way 31 Sophia Borelli went inside Arab High School to get a first hand look at what classrooms will look like tomorrow. Sophia. One math teacher I spoke with here at Arab High School said that she's excited to welcome her kids back tomorrow, and she said that she's waited for this all summer. I'm just ready to see my kids. This is what Alicia Rader's classroom will look like as kids come to school. To help students follow safety guidelines, desks are marked with an X to show students where to sit and make sure they can social distance. She says teachers have sanitizer to clean their rooms. Anything that any child has touched will be sanitized between classes. Rader says she and other teachers have been preparing all summer for the first day of school. I am just hoping, number one, to build those relationships and and teach them those essential things that they need to know to prepare them for their future. The district is starting the school year off with a hybrid schedule, which means only half of the students who, who picked traditional learning will be on campus at one time. Live in Arab, Sophia Borelli, Way 31 News.